Hello and welcome to this assembly and instructional video on your Hubert film wrap machine. Upon receipt of your film wrap machine, be sure that you visually inspect the box for any obvious shipping damage that may have occurred while it was in transit to you. Be sure to use care when you're opening up the box. You don't want to puncture down through the box into the product and you also want to be aware of your personal safety. Once you remove the uh, film wrap machine from the box, go ahead and locate the manual that's underneath this plastic protective covering. The manual will outline the first steps to assembly. Let's go ahead and get started on the basic assembly of your Hubert film wrap machine. Be sure that you reference the film wrapper technical bulletin that's contained within the product. This is going to outline some of the detailed instructions that are going to accompany this video. Your Hubert film wrapper should contain all of the parts that are detailed here. Should any of these parts be missing upon arrival of your Hubert film wrapper, please contact customer support at www.hubert.com. Our first step is to attach the lower bearing blocks onto the back side of the unit. I'm going to go ahead and remove the hex nut and the bolt. I'll place my bearing block, line it up with the holes in the back, place my bolt through, and replace my hex nut. Repeat this process for both sides and tighten them down firmly by hand. We're going to use an adjustable wrench to tighten down just a little bit more to make sure that we've got the appropriate tension. Repeat the process for the other side to ensure that both the left and right bearing blocks are assembled firmly. Loosen the wing nuts on both the left and right bearing block and then rotate the top to expose the film roll axle slots. Our next step is going to be to actually place the film roll onto the film roll axle rod. The film axle rod allows for different widths of film to be used on the same unit. Locate your pin end cap. Remove the pin to reveal the center where the film axle rod will be inserted. Insert the film axle rod into the pin end cap to the desired depth of your film roll and then push the pin end cap pin securely in place to secure the pin end cap to the film axle rod. Insert the film axle rod into the cardboard core of the film roll and ensure that the pin end cap fits snugly up against the cardboard of the film roll. Screw the wing end cap onto the film axle rod so that the wing end cap fits snugly up against the cardboard core of the film roll. Place the axle and film into the lower bearing blocks. Swing the upper bearing block back into place. Tighten and adjust the wing nuts for desired film tension. Repeat the process on the other side. And again, tighten down the wing nuts to the desired tension that you want to have on the film roll. In this next step, we're going to outline preparing the film roll for the use of our film wrap machine. You can see the film roll here, the work surface here, over here you see the support rod and then finally the cutoff rod here and finally our hot plate area and adjustable thermostat. Let's begin by rolling the film underneath the work surface. Replace the work surface flat and then grab the film
and pull it underneath the support rod and over top of the cutoff rod. Once you have it fed through the rods, simply pull to ensure that you have enough of the film ready to start work. Well, that completes the assembly of our Hubert film wrap machine. Let's go ahead and get this plugged in. We'll turn it on and then we're going to set the desired temperature settings by adjusting the thermostat right here on the side. Well, we've got our unit plugged in. We've got our temperature settings just right and we're ready to wrap up some product. Let's go ahead and show you some demonstrations to have you to be a Hubert film wrapping expert.